What's up everyone and welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. Let's get right into it with the truck. Not much to choose from for your 2025 Crown Signia, so if you're hoping for a lot of trims, sorry to break the news that there are only two. The XLE and the Limited, uh, ranging from 43,500 all the way up to nearly 48 for that Limited. So, you know, roughly 5K here is going to separate these. Uh, hopefully that allows you to get behind the wheel of one of these because they are rather expensive. The engine, what are we looking at? 2.5 liter dynamic force, four cylinder hybrid, giving you 240 horsepower. Uh, so definitely nice to see that there is some power behind the wheel there and uh, paired with an ECVT, which some people may be a fan of, some people maybe not, should be just fine. And of course, all wheel drive is my favorite thing to see on here uh, out of all these uh, chart specifications because I just think all wheel drive is something that you should absolutely have for a vehicle this expensive. And looking at MPGs, not too shabby at all. You have 39 in the city, 37 on the highway. Not bad for an SUV. Real quick, guys, your Ben's car reviews. I strive to bring the most accurate and relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and a waste of time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and you like this content as you watch, please like and subscribe. So you continue to grow the channel. Let's keep going. The Venza is old news, and the Crown Signia is here to take its place. With the design falling right in line with where Toyota is going with the Camry, the new Camry, I think this will be attracting many buyers. Let's face it, Toyota just knows how to sell them. The commanding hammerhead front end is the main reason this looks like the new Camry. I love the look of the whole front fascia and the depth of the detail, especially that grille, how it kind of goes from nothing into the actual uh, design. Nothing else is looking like this on the road today. You're going to have distinct LED lights lighting your way in the headlights, taillights, and daytime running lights. The day daytime running light design is great, and that taillight closely resembles its Venza predecessor. The Limited will have leveling headlights as well. Rolling the XLE down the road are 19-inch multi-spoke machine-finished two-tone alloy wheels. 21-inch, seven-spoke, dark gray metallic alloy wheels are on the Limited. So 19-inch on the XLE, 21 on the Limited. There's no spare tire, unfortunately, given it's a hybrid, but there is a tire repair kit. I, you know, who really knows if anybody knows how to use that? There are standard low-profile roof rails. There's a hands-free power liftgate standard with jam protection, so it shouldn't trap your kids as it comes down and they're trying to jump in and they're halfway in, so... That's a great thing. The Limited will add rain sensing variable intermittent wipers. There are standard color keyed outside door handles and touch sensor lock unlock feature. There's standard heated power outside mirrors with turn signal and power folding. The Limited can have heated as an option. Max towing sits at 2,700 pounds, which actually surprises me higher than I would have guessed, so that's a plus. The electric on-demand all-wheel drive sends up to 80% of the power to the rear wheels when needed, but roll with front-wheel drive when the coast is clear. Drive modes are Eco, Normal, and Sport, and you will have an EV mode also. Their standard electronically controlled braking system with integrated regenerative braking. There are power-assisted ventilated 12.9-inch front disc brakes, solid 12.5-inch rear disc brakes with hydraulic brake booster. The Crown Signia measures in at 194.1 inches long, 74 inches wide, 64 inches tall, has 6.4 inches of ground clearance, and weighs 4,210 pounds. As for packages, there's only one. The Limited has the option for the Advanced Tech Package, which really just adds safety features. I think as far as choosing a best bang for a buck, the XLE is easily the best way to go. Mechanically, you have the same setup. Looking at the chart info, there's no differences between the two. In fact, moving to the interior, which we're about to do next, the two trims are nearly identical as well. There are cosmetic differences between the two in the end, but I don't see the difference being worth 4,000 more to get the Limited over the XLE. Maybe 2,000, but certainly not more than four. So let's get into that interior now. Toyota continues their trend of a very clean, well-designed interior. With this new Crown Signia, I feel the inside matches the exterior feel pretty well. There's a standard infotainment setup of 12.3 inches, which is that Toyota multimedia screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There's a standard 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster with selectable 
gauges. That looks great. It functions well. As it always seems now, 12.3 inches is the most common setup these days for all screens. So at least I would have met that kind of 12.3 minimum, it seems to be. The XLE gets a six speaker sound system. The Limited gets the 11 speaker JBL premium audio system, standard dual zone climate control, digital rear view mirror with home link on the Limited. Limited has a panoramic fixed glass roof, roof with power sunshade. Your steering wheel on either trim will be heated and leather trimmed. There's, standard, there's a standard leather trimmed shift knob, a standard wireless charger. With the second row down, there's up to 66.8 cubic feet of max cargo volume. Both trims are going to get heated and ventilated front seats, which I'm shocked to see the XLE has it. And they also both have heated rear seats. There's standard leather trimmed front seats with seat back pockets. 8-way power adjustable driver's seat with memory function and lumbar, 8-way power adjustment front passenger seat. Toyota sets you up pretty well with standard driver's assist, safety and technology features with Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. Overall, I'm very surprised how little the Limited has over the XLE. When you really look at it, you know, it's a sound system, it's a glass roof, uh, and really not much else. I don't think the glass roof and a digital rear view mirror are really enough to get people to spend the extra money. Yes, there are exterior differences, but the inside is where we usually really see the worth of features. But hey, this bodes well for the buyer who wants the less expensive trim and still get the features. Interview guys, the Crown Signia. Brand new here, 2025 Venza is out of here. As I mentioned right away, this thing is taking its place, probably here for the long haul uh, as it is really moving in their design direction that they're clearly going for with the Camry. I'm sure the Corolla redesign has got like very similar to these. Um, yes, they're Tundra, Sequoia, Tacoma. Those all look identical to each other as well. So uh, falling right in line with what uh, what they're doing with their design. But anyway, the Crown Signia, I think it's going to be a very solid option. However, I am disappointed in these price points. I think a lot of people will be disappointed in these price points, uh, especially given there's only two trims. If you really like the design, you want the hybrid uh, setup, you know, it's a shame that the starting trim is so high of an MSRP. I think a lot of people might wish that there was at least one, two, three more options below that that maybe weren't so decked out um, in all these features because it really seems like that's Toyota's justification for why the price tag is so high because you got all these features that usually you would get on a top trim. Um, so it'd be nice to have more of a bare bones setup that would allow for this to be behind the wheel of one for maybe even a mid 30,000, dare I say lower $30,000 starting MSRP. So that way when you're out the door, you're not much more than mid 35,000. I think that's not too unreasonable to ask, but unfortunately we're not gonna be getting that. So if you want a Crown Signia, hopefully it falls within your budget because I think it's gonna be a cool ride. It's gonna turn some heads. Should be pretty comfortable uh, and a great vehicle for a long time. Hopefully this video leave things, leave things out a clue. If you guys, thank you for watching the Spence Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, have that option. Check that out and join if you'd like. And I'll catch you on the next Ben's Car Review. <laughs>